The Emerging Technologies and Advanced Manufacturing Labs located at the National Center for Aviation Training is a cross-functional, multidisciplinary lab that works and collaborates with other labs at NIAR. The big question is how do we make the appropriate iterations for a manufacturing process based on a perfect ideal part? We are developing machine learning algorithms uh, so that we can use it in additive manufacturing, especially in-process monitoring systems where we have software that is going to read what's happening in the process, make the appropriate iterations so that we can get a perfect final part. One of the recent projects that we worked on, which is now a provisional patent that WSU has applied for, is a fully automated cobotic finishing system. Basically, uh, the idea is you place a part in front of a robot, in this case a cobot, which is a collaborative robot, and this robot will scan in a matter of seconds and sand it for you if you want, or polish it for you if you want, or do the appropriate automated pathing operation for you. Hello, my name is Xuan Yi Li. I am the supervisor of Emerging Technologies Lab. One of the most exciting projects that I'm working on is on the CBAM. CBAM stands for Composite Based Additive Manufacturing. The CBAM is the only sheet lamination additive manufacturing machine in the world. The big area additive manufacturing machine or the BAM is a six foot by six foot by 12 foot large scale additive polymer machine that is used to make very large components, be it molds, tools, fixtures. One of our latest and most exciting machines that we've received is the VRC Gen 3 robotic seven axis cold spray system that is used to repair worn out parts. Uh, it is especially used in sustainment activities. The LaserTech 65 3D by DMG Mori is one of the few machines that can do hybrid manufacturing, which means it can do 3D printing and milling in the same build envelope. The RPMI 222 is a metal directed energy deposition machine. It is one of the first metal AM machines we received, especially for directed energy deposition. And we worked on projects with the FAA and with local companies to develop material properties and processes. One of the most notable projects that uh, Nair owns the design for is the small UAS project that we worked on a couple of years ago along with Dassault Systems. We successfully were able to turn it around in actually 10 months, which is almost unheard of in the industry. One of the projects that we're working on as part of the Nair UAV Lab is to design from scratch an airship, you can call it a mothership, that launches drones. As part of this project, the students, our applied learning students, have focused all of their efforts from clean sheet design. Basically, we started with whiteboards. The students um, do testing work and also design work on Katia platform. Our goal was to come up with the best design with the highest endurance. And at this point, we are already doing simulations and doing endurance trials.